morning and welcome to my channel. Let me first introduce myself. My name is Wim. I am a sidewalk astronomer based in the city of Zwolle, the Netherlands. You just saw my QR code to my website and this is my email address. If you want to come and watch the stars together with me, just email me in the morning before 1300 hours. This uh, video contains the pictures of the sun, the moon, and the constellations, and the meeting of Jupiter and Venus in the sky. It's, uh, there are picture, pictures taken between the, the 25th of February and the 2nd of March this year. You see here the moon on the 25th in color and in black and white. I uh, first uh, put all the moon pictures in and then the sun and then the birds and the telescopes and the last few pictures in this video you see Venus and Jupiter having a date. Okay, this is the moon again. I first put in the color picture and then the picture after I took out the color of blue. You see three little craters in the middle of the picture. Here's a bigger picture. Those are Theophilus, Eudoxus and Katerina. And the ridge is uh, Rupus Altai going to the crater Piccolomini. This is the next day, the midday moon. And after that you will see the same moon in the evening of the 26th Sunday. There you go. And I took some close-up pictures too, which you will see after this picture. Okay, there you go. If you like my videos, please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Down the bottom of this picture you see the crater Tycho, the one with the dot in the middle. So uh, that's the uh, same crater you can see at full moon with all those rays, but here you don't see the rays yet. Because the sun is too low in the sky at that location on the moon. If you want to know all the names of these craters, on the end of my video there is a QR code going to my moon atlas. If you click on that one, you will go to my website and to my moon atlas where you can see all the names of all the craters it will uh, show it it will be easy to figure out so there you go okay here you see the crater I can't get the name anyhow you can see the Alpine Lunar Al Alps and the Alpine Valley on the top of the picture you can see the crater Archimedes, the big one, the round one. And you see the Apennines mountains lower under the big crater. Uh, I still have to wake up. Same picture again. Now, yeah, here you see the straight line. I don't know the English name, but uh, that's uh, very famous feature on the moon. Okay, next day, the moon again. I think this is uh, on the 1st or on the 28th. Yeah, here yeah, you can see the crater Clavius down the picture with five little craters inside the crater. So that is Clavius. Copernicus, also a well-known crater in the middle of the picture in the sea of storms and again a picture of the whole moon this is on the 1st of September first the color picture and then the black and white picture and after that I tried to take pictures of the rainbow bay and of course of the lady of the moon hidden in that half crater Genevieve Cassini is her name Cassini is the one who made one of the first real moon atlases for the King of France. He worked for the King of France at that time. And 
in the nights when he was uh, drawing his uh, moon traders, he was very lonely, I suppose, and he saw the picture of his fiance Genevieve in one of those craters. So uh, I'll show it to you how he saw it. He saw everything upside down, of course, because he used a telescope and he didn't flip the pictures in his computer because there were no computers and no cameras. There you go, there she is. It can also be so that it is the other cape, but this one looks more like the silhouette of a lady, so I took this one. There you go. Okay. Next crater. This is Tycho again in the middle of the picture with the dot in the middle of the small mountain. Same... Okay, same crater again, but now you see Clavius just above uh, Tycho with the five little craters in it. Again, I took first the color picture and then I took out the blue colors to make the picture a bit sharper and crisper. Two more moon pictures and then we go to the sun. Clavius again and Tycho. This is on the south pole of the moon, so this is the area where you see the most craters. In black and white again to take out the haze. Okay, this is the moon in daytime on the south. 1st of September again, yeah. And then we go to the sun. There were lots of sunspots the last few weeks, so uh, here you see three sunspot groups. They all have numbers, which I don't have here. If you want to know which sunspot group is what, you have to check out the number on the website and then you can <coughs> communicate about it to other people who and make sure they, you're talking about the same group of sunspots. Such a sunspot group takes about two weeks to cross the disk of the sun, and then it took, takes two weeks to cross the backside of the moon, of course, uh, sun, of course, and then it, sometimes it turns up again after two weeks, but uh, usually they disappear after a while. There you go. Uh, one day later, it moved to the a little bit more. They all move from left to right and every day they move on a little bit. The hazy black spots you see are clouds which were uh, crossing the sun solar disk at the moment I took the pictures. Same sunspot group again. I'm going to close up. I always try to take pictures of all the sunspot groups on the solar disk so there you go. As you can see, its sunspots have a dark center and a gray surroundings. Those have special names again, but uh, look them up in Wikipedia and you will know all about it. This is on the 28th again. And as you can see, the sunspots have moved on. New spots are appearing on the left side of the solar disk. Let's see if I can move my indicator. No, I can't. I have to wait and see what is coming next. <coughs> Anyhow, I use a special solar f filter, of course, with my telescope. Never use a telescope to look at the sun, except when you have a very good solar filter in at the front side of your telescope, never on the back side. If you do not use proper tools to watch the sun, you can watch the sun two times, once with your left eye and once with your right eye, and after that you will be very, very blind. So be very careful with watching the sun. Use proper solar filters that block 99.9% .9 of all sunlight, like I did here. Here you see how I get the pictures when I take them out of the camera. 
because of the filter and the camera they all turn out to be pink but I change them into black and white pictures and work on them okay next picture is by telescope set up at my spot at the Beekman Pot in Zwolle you can find it in Google Maps Beekman Pot it says Sidewalk Astronomy Spot on the map so it's in Zwolle City the Netherlands the storks uh, lots of storks again on the 25th they returned from Africa or wherever they went to in the winter and they are all trying to get their nest back from the Nile geese who are tr trying to take the nest away from the bird, of course, as they usually do. One more stork, high up in the sky, and here you can see uh, this is all near the place where I always do sidewalk astronomy in the Zwolle city. Lots of storks. You still can see them now because the trees don't have leaves yet, so now we can count how many nests there are. I counted about 10 or 11 nests. So if everybody comes back from Africa, we'll have a lot of the storks again. But usually not all the storks come back from Africa. Some just don't make it all the way down to Europe. A view of the river Eisel looking south to the river and to the mountains in the distance of the mountains of the Veluwe the, those mountains are at least 20 meters high so it's amazing the wild geese days those are grey lag geese but there are lots of other kinds of geese too in the neighborhood which I don't know the English names of but these, these are grey lag normal uh, common grey geese One more picture of the sunset, then we will probably go see Jupiter and Venus as they meet each other in the sky. First on the 2nd of March, you can see Jupiter is to the left of Venus. This is taken with a camera. And the next two pictures are taken through the telescope, so they're a bit shaky, but you can see that Jupiter has four little moons. It's not really a very good picture, but uh, it was taken uh, by putting the camera against the eyepiece of the telescope, just clicking away a few times. But you can see that Jupiter has moons and Venus doesn't have any moons. Okay next day and now you can see that Jupiter is below Venus and not to the side of Venus anymore last picture and then you can see my QR code to my moon atlas and my email address again I mean, yeah. so if you like my video please subscribe and click on the like button and do comment or ask questions or email me. If you want to go see the stars, email me too before one o'clock so that I will be able to tell you if I'm going out or not. If you do it in the afternoon, I probably will not be near my computer. Okay, this is all. Bye-bye uh, and I hope you have a clear sky. Wim out.